we just created a Reddit clone with a post in like 15 minutes with two prompts. That's okay. The, the most insane part of this, the reason I'm getting very excited is because this was a two prompt exercise to like generate this entire interface. And this is gorgeous. I think this, this might look better than Reddit if we're being honest. So um, Agent V2, uh, zero to Reddit clone, 15 minutes, couple prompts. Hey, it's Matt with Replit here. And today we have a first look at the new Replit Agent V2. We're calling this V2 because there are a lot of updates, both on the front end and underneath the hood with how Agent's working. We're gonna build a simple app. We're gonna see what's different. I'm gonna explain not only how you can join our sort of early access program, but also how Agent is getting better, the evolution of things, and like how these AI tools are changing because it changes really fast. But just to get started here, we're gonna say, hey, build me a simple Reddit clone. So if you've used Reddit before, you know it's kind of like a forum platform. You can upvote, downvote things, et cetera. What you'll notice off the bat here is that Agent looks different. And this is like our lobby interface. What we're doing, what Agent is doing, is going to now propose an application to you. So we're saying, hey, this is what we want to build. And these are the technologies we're going to use. We're going to build a web app. Now, if you maybe wanted a data dashboard or something and it matched the wrong app type, say you're like a data guy. I'm a data guy. Um, you can actually go in here and say, oh, actually, well, you know, I wanted Python with Streamlit. I wanted a data dashboard. But for this instance, a web app's a really good fit. So what are we going to do? We're going to get proposed features from Agent. And these will be kind of next steps, but it's just kind of like floating that by us to have that in the back of our mind. And we're going to click Start Building. So you've seen some of the front end changes. Under the hood, we're changing how builds work. So the first thing you see when you approve a new build is that stuff is going to start happening in the web view, like immediately. This is cool. Um, you're going to see HTML start streaming in. And what we're doing is building the front end of your application. Uh, and so we're first getting you something that you can visually inspect, that you like the look of, that looks good, right? And this looks a lot like Reddit, which is really cool. Uh, Red did, did, did. <laughs> <laughs> That's our Reddit clone. So what's happening here is we're generating the UI for your application in real time. This is entirely the front end. Once we're done with the front end and you give us the thumbs up, right, we're going to start generating the back end. Um, but what I want to emphasize here is that we're streaming in HTML elements. This is actually really technologically complex and we have some really talented engineers working on this stuff. It's quite amazing. Um, and so you'll actually, you know, you can scroll down and kind of see AI building in real time. One of the things we've seen so far with Claude 37 Sonnet, which was just released earlier this week, um, is that it's much better at generating front ends. It's much better at generating UIs. Um, and that kind of pull through, pulls through to Replit Agent. We use a combination of the latest uh, AI models under the hood, as well as um, a lot of uh, internal improvements to how these things work in order to generate um, these beautiful applications. So uh, again, what Agent is doing here is first building out a visual preview of your application. Um, and then once that's done, it'll start building out the back end. You can see here, because we're building a clone, it's actually generating like a lot of posts. <laughs> These posts will eventually live in a database. Uh, it could probably generate fewer posts. Um, but once it's done with the posts, I would expect it to start maybe generating like a side uh, bar or a side nav of some sort. And you know, ultimately, this looks a lot like Reddit. I, you know, I think the cloning functionality in 3.7 Sonnet Given that we just said, build me a simple Reddit clone, um, an Agent V2 is like pretty amazing. So you can see the sidebar starting to come in now. We're getting kind of like a sub Reddit uh, type view. Um, and this is all really clean. Uh, yeah, I gotta say, I've been really impressed um, by the latest generation of models. And I've been really impressed by our agent team because like this is really uh, outstanding stuff. Um, so Agent V2, fundamentally what we've changed is we have this lobby experience where you can kind of um, manipulate uh, the framework that you're using to build the application. And then also um, this visual preview uh, where we're first generating the app, what the app looks like, and then we're going to go in and generate the code. Our goal here, again, is to get you something that works as fast as possible. Now, the cool thing about this um, is that while I'm building this on the web, you notice it takes a while. We're building like a full application. You have the Replit mobile app, so you can go on your phone. Um, you could open up this same app while it's being built and like look at it live. So like, oh, hey, I kicked this off. I'm going to go run to like, I don't know, maybe I have to go to the dentist or something. Really exciting stuff. Um, in the, on the way there, I could be checking in on my app. I could be, you know, prompting, giving uh, updates, that sort of thing. So we're getting our sidebar here. We have a little about section. Um, and it looks like, okay, now we're doing some dark mode stuff. Um, but fundamentally, these are the differences in Agent V2. Uh, I'm going to cut out. I'm going to jump back in once this is done generating the preview. 
um, and we'll talk about it more. So now we can actually see that um, agent is starting to build out some files. So the preview is done. And if you minimize the preview, uh, you can see that agent is working on our fully interactive version. So uh, again, constants, the agent has, agent has always done this, right? Like agent has always built full stack applications. The difference here is that first we're starting with a visual preview. And then once that preview is complete, it's actually going in and starting to create full stack um, applications. Uh, and so, you know, I think the app actually looked better before it added this dark mode in here. That should be like a one prompt fix to kind of remove the, the dark mode functionality or change the background so that it's consistent. I would imagine that the dark mode toggle will work once it's done. Um, we'll cut out. This is kind of the step where agent starts building things out and I'll join you back when the app is complete. <laughs> okay. So we're back. Um, that was actually a long run, uh, but I just want to show you the, I didn't make another prompt. All I said was build me a simple Reddit clone. And uh, we just kind of let this one roll through the planning, through all of these iterations. There were some errors. Agent actually just kind of corrected all of those. Um, and now what we have on the right is not just UI. This is actually a functioning website. Um, you'll notice the UI issue seems to be corrected. This looks really good. This looks a lot like Reddit. We get a dark mode. We get a light mode. Um, and now let's see what we can do. So I have like an avatar. I can like create a post. Can I upvote? Okay. So if I try to do that, it says you have to log in. Uh, so it looks like they gave me user auth of some sort. Um, let's try signing up. Uh, Matt. Okay. Password. Password. Best practices. Just password. Roll with it. Oh, it's optional. <laughs> email is optional, but you need a valid email. All right. So for the sake of this, we'll do test at uh, test.com. That would be something we fix, right? Uh, so I'll sign up with that test.test.com. I get security warnings from Google. That's like, dude, you're crazy. Uh, and <laughs> that's not me. Um, but now we have a profile. So we have a profile page. So this is pretty impressive. You, Matt, uh, with some, some generated metrics there. We have settings. Doesn't seem to work. Okay, so let's try a post. Technology. Hi, it's Matt. I'm giving people a, a little wave. Hi, it's Matt. It's playful. We're having fun. Text, this is my first post. Let's see what we got. Post. Invalid time value. Okay, so let's, like, this is kind of like we're going to see stuff like this. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. I'm going to say, oh, looks like I missed it. Reload this. We'll do this one more time. Test, test, post. Invalid time value. My guess would be that... Um, My guess would be that there's something wrong with like the database or like what we're writing here uh, with the format. Um, this is actually really, I'm really impressed because, you know, how often do these applications, number one, look beautiful and this looks great, uh, but number two, have functioning settings pages, user permissions pages, auth, we could log in with this application. Um, for one shot, again, one prompt to get to that is really impressive. Uh, so we'll see if this post, post thing goes through, but um, you'll notice Agent V2 is also uh, a bit more verbose and descriptive about uh, what's changing. So you'll notice in the chat pane here, it's telling us which files it's opened. It's walking through the logic of, hey, like let's view more of this component. Um, now let's fix it to actually understand like what was going on. And there was like a null value, um, it looks like for the author and the community. And now, uh, agent is going to modify multiple files and jump into different uh, parts of your application to triage it. That's another difference between agent v1 and v2. So um, all around, much more robust, generating more beautiful applications with better planning functionality and execution. Uh, and that's really why we went with calling this agent v2. Um, so if you're watching this and it's like late February, um, the way to opt in to this experience because it is an early access is to enable explorer mode in your Replit account. I have a video on how to do just that. You can check it out in the comments. Um, once you're in Explorer mode, this will be enabled by default. Uh, once we know that this is, you know, good to go, we're going to roll this out to everyone. Uh, but it's coming along pretty nice. And we have, you know, this is really impressive. This is one of the best, honestly, just this example is one of the best AI generated uh, apps that I've seen in one shot. Um, and you can deploy it in a single click on Replit. So let's see if the post functionality works. Um, this is a test post. Um, hello, I am Matt. That's me. Uh, post. 
your post has been created. <laughs> so now we have a post. This is amazing. Okay, so uh, we can upload the post. We can, uh, hi, uh, can we comment on it? We can comment on the post. <laughs> this is so cool. And then I think if we go to, uh, let's go to the dev URL. Let's see what happens. So dev URL, right? Like this is running live. This is separate. I'm opening it on my browser. The post is live. So this all works, right? Like you can tell I have different cookies because it reverted back to dark mode. We just created a Reddit clone with a post in like 15 minutes with two prompts. That's okay. The, the most insane part of this, the reason I'm getting very excited is because this was a two prompt exercise to like generate this entire interface. And this is gorgeous. I think this, this might look better than Reddit if we're being honest. So um, Agent V2, uh, zero to Reddit clone, 15 minutes, couple prompts. Check out the link in the comments to enable Explorer mode and give this a shot. If you're watching this in a couple weeks, just consider this live. Um, if you don't see like the early access thing or, um, you know, if you're seeing these outputs already, just consider this live. Again, I'm Matt with Rublet. This has been your first look at Agent V2.